2020 Goldsmith Student Union Awards. As you know, due to the current circumstances, we had to cancel our March awards ceremony and go digital, hence why we're coming to you from our houses. But the purpose remains the same. We're here to celebrate all the amazing work that you have done this year, and honestly, what a year it's been. Despite the many challenges you've faced, from strikes to a global pandemic, you've still managed to put on so many incredible events, won many games, and even come away with the Arts Cup. Although we can't ask you to get on stage to collect your trophies this evening, like we normally would, winners should keep their eyes out for something in the post, and you'll be able to collect your awards when we're back on campus, hopefully in the not too distant future. There were over 100 nominations this year, so without further ado, let's begin with the awards. Now, one of the best things SU societies and communities do is run incredible events that constantly um, surpass our expectations. We're often left in awe of the incredible work that goes into events that are inclusive and well attended. Um, most societies are built upon the events they run, and the SU would certainly be a much duller place without them. The shortlisted community events are uh, the Jewish Society's Potluck Friday Night Dinner, Pakistani Society Cultural Exhibition Talking Body, Bodies Art Show, Christian Union uh, Weekend Away, Islamic Society's Discover Islam Series, and LGBTQ Speed Dating. So the winner of this award hosted a series of thought-provoking events such as Powerful Women in Islam and Why I Became a Muslim. Um, and they shared their experiences, knowledge, and practice of Islam uh, with all students. So the winner is Islamic Society's Discover Islam series. Congratulations! So moving on to societies, the shortlisted events are Star Society's Refugee Awareness Week, the Gold Runners Fulham 10K City Run, the Photography Society's Out of Place Exhibition, and the Drama Society's Macbeth, and the Joint Welcome Week SFG with Drama, Diversity on the Decks, Star, Pen and Musical Theatre. The winner of this award put on an amazing exhibition, giving their members the opportunity to showcase their work from the year in an accessible way. And the winner is Photography Society's Out of Place exhibition, experimenting with concepts of chaos and the feeling of not belonging. Next up, we have the Player of the Year Award. We've been blown away with how amazing our players have been this year and honestly, you've all been a credit to Goldsmith Sport, so thank you. The players shortlisted for this award are Fraser Henderson Morrow from Hockey, Toby Dennis from Hockey, Isabella Kane from Cheerleading and Eleonora Hansen from Women's Basketball. The winner of this award has dedicated themselves to their team for the last three years, always putting in 100% effort and they never hesitate to help newer members. Their team say they've helped them get to where they are today. The winner of this award is Isabella Kane. Congratulations, Isabella.
As your education officer, I am so proud of all of the reps who are fighting the good fight in their departments for a more accessible, more liberated education system. They work in partnership with staff to act on student feedback, uh, represent your voices, and they embody the opposite of how the government sees students as passive consumers. And this year, without doubt, has been more challenging than most. So credit to everyone. Uh, this year's department rep, of the year award goes to someone who has been proactive all year, constantly engaging with their students in the department and being an excellent leader of their team. The winner is Lara Carafadini from Psychology. The next award goes to someone who's worked hard to make Goldsmiths a more accessible university. This individual has been incredible as an access and inclusion rep, always ensuring those with access needs have a voice. She's constantly made student welfare her top priority and has done so with positivity and enthusiasm. The access and inclusion rep of the year is Katrina Falsini from Anthropology. Well done. This team worked hard all year to respond to students' needs, particularly at times of crisis. Working together, they made a great impact in the students' sense of community and effectively held their department to account. The winner is Theatre and Performance Reps. So typically we would have the Rep Report of the Year Award, but as you know, with everything going on, uh, the reps were unable to complete these this year. So instead, we decided to give an award to the Programme Rep of the Year. This individual worked really well with department reps as part of a team, providing support for students and always being proactive in their work. Congratulations to Paulina Sosa Escamilla from MA Arts, Administration and Cultural Policy. The Part-Time Officer of the Year Award is going to an officer that went out of her comfort zone, took some persuading to run in the election, but wanted new challenges. They were always bubbling with lots of ideas and always had a smile on their face. They've been a great advocate for mature students throughout the year. Congratulations to Coco Brown. The Social Change Award recognises students who have worked with the community in and around Goldsmiths to make change for the better. This includes achieving significant change in the Goldsmiths community and being a positive ambassador and role model for the union. The winner of this award is a new group of Goldsmiths this year and they have campaigned for equal access at Goldsmiths for refugee and asylum seeking students, including making it mandatory for the Student Union to host Refugee Awareness Week every year. Congratulations to Goldsmith Star. So now we move on to our Society and Community Leader of the Year. So, and Society and Communities are nothing without the special individuals who commit their time to ensuring their groups are run smoothly. And this award specifically has been created to celebrate those individuals. The nominees for this award are Linnea from Gold Runners, Millie from Musical Theatre Society, Iram from the Islamic Society, Kulsuma from the Islamic Society, and Hannah from Lewisham Lit. So the winner of this award has been a rock for the members of their society this year and has supported them through difficult times while keeping the society running. The winner is Millie Coppin from Musical Theatre well done, Millie. Moving on to our Sports Leader of the Year Award. 
Sport leaders aren't just there to ensure that games go ahead. They motivate their teams, coordinate trainings. They're a shoulder to cry on and a person to lean on when you're feeling down. In this category, we had so many nominations and it's really amazing to know we have so many dedicated sports leaders proving they are valued by their teams. The shortlisted sport leaders are Emmanuel Huda from Taekwondo, Georgia Sanders from Hockey, Michelle O'Higgins from Women's Football, Laura Palfreman from Women's Football, India Witty from Hockey, Kevin Ehrlicher from Tennis and Jonathan Tang from Hockey. It was so hard to decide on just one winner for this award, so we decided to give the award to two people that have gone above and beyond for their team this year. They've gained new members, held inclusive socials, worked on charity projects and topped it all off by leading their team to an incredible 9-0 victory at Varsity. The winners of this award are India Witty and Jonathan Tang from Hockey. Congratulations. Goldsmiths Students' Union prides itself on being an inclusive, accepting environment which welcomes students from all backgrounds. A few years ago, we began the Justin Fashionu Award in the spirit of this. And Justin Fashionu, if you don't know who he is, was the first openly gay footballer. He was also the first black footballer to command a £1 million transfer fee. Since then, liberation in sports has come on leaps and bounds. Obviously, still a long way to go. The Justin Fashion Award this year goes to a team who have actively sought to ensure the values of inclusivity, accessibility in sport are championed to all members of their club. They have put on specific safe space training sessions to highlight some of the barriers that prevent people getting involved in sports. They've also been passionately dedicated to promoting women's and LGBTQ plus representation in sport. This year's Justin Fashionu Award goes to Goldsmiths Women's Football. Now, this is a very special award and it recognises someone who's gone above and beyond for students this year. This student is the president of the Chinese Students and Scholars Association at Goldsmiths. During the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, they helped a lot of students that had suspected symptoms by organising medicine, thermometers and other essential items to be delivered to them. And their amazing work didn't stop there. They also mobilised the power of Chinese students staying in the UK and they coordinated and actively donated 5,000 masks to the NHS in the UK. The Goldsmiths SU Above and Beyond Award goes to Ming Yang Lu. Congratulations and thank you so much for all your hard work.
Coming up next, we have the New Society of the Year Award. This year, we had 20 new societies start at Goldsmiths. The shortlisted societies for this award are Community Fridge, Rag Society, Practical Ecology Society, Gold Runners and Gardening Society. The winners of this award held weekly sessions all year for their members in collaboration with Adidas Runners. They created a safe space for students to get fit for free and organised a number of different creative workshops and socials. Congratulations to Gold Runners. Now, moving on to uh, the Community of the Year uh, Award. So the shortlisted communities for this award are the Chillin community, LGBTQ plus community, Dharma community, Iranian community, and Romanian community. The winner of this award has put on a number of unique events for the members of their community, such as the successful speed dating event. They have been visible within the Students' Union and provided an inclusive environment that allows students to get involved. Congratulations, LGBTQ plus community. It's now time to present your Media Group of the Year Award. The four media groups on campus work hard all year to help keep the student body informed and entertained. The winner of this award has successfully taken their newspaper to print, keeping students aware about developments around evolving goldsmiths, as well as other campaigns both at goldsmiths and in the local community. We hope that this media group continues to grow as its value cannot be underplayed. Congratulations to The Leopard. There are over 50 societies at Goldsmiths that provide a space for students to get involved in their interests outside of the classroom, make some friends for life. Um, <laughs> so the shortlisted societies are Fashion Society, Anime and Game Society, Drama Society, Debating Society and Comic and Graphic Novel Society. The winner of this award works tirelessly to give all students the opportunity to take part in their society. They give first and second years the opportunity to play right and direct shows, as well as running fortnightly workshops on everything to do with drama. They also put on their successful Drunk Shakespeare show, Macbeth. Congratulations, Drama Society. And just like that, we're on to the final award, which is for the team of the year. It's truly been an amazing year for sports at Goldsmiths, and I'm so glad that we got to finish it off with a huge win at Varsity at the end of February. Thank you to every single team for putting in so much effort this year. The shortlisted teams for this award are hockey, taekwondo, men's basketball, cheerleading, women's basketball and men's rugby. The winner of this award brought back medals from every single competition they attended this year, including 20 medals from one single competition. They had so many nominations from members who are new to the sport and have found a sense of community through being part of this team. Congratulations to Taekwondo. And that concludes the 2020 awards night. Uh, no, it's been a bit different to usual, but congratulations to all our winners. And thank you again to every single one of you that has helped this year be such a success, especially in light of everything that's been going on. 
please post any pictures of you from the year or this night on your social media and tag us. It really brightens up our days and we love to see how you have celebrated. We hope that you are safe and well and see you soon. Round of applause for you all.